civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. Oh boy. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. See, it's the equivalent of, ha of the White House having a back door into, like, hell. Which, I mean, kind of does already. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. The butler did it. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. If he turns on the Relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon, it is a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. The genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope Yeah, was it was kind of a dumb thing to say, honestly. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. But they're still glowing, because why not? Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? 
You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. So they killed the re they killed the Keepers, right? Like every last one? To stop this problem from happening? No? Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. So I gotta say, if I'm a Prothean scientist, and I know that my life is going to end in like 10, 20 years, and there's no hope for my race, but I can still warn people, wouldn't I like put graffiti all over the Citadel saying, don't trust the Keepers, the Reapers are coming, here's exactly how you stop them. Or even if like the language isn't going to be the same in 50,000 years, just draw pictures. Giant squid thing, coming, 50,000 years, or like, however you would denote solar cycles or whatever. Just something, literally anything. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel, but the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Yeah, no, there's a lot of vegetation on the Citadel. I figure they would have lived for a while. There's like natural lakes and trees and stuff out there. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will See, this is what I was talking about. The projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. Okay, no, I'm not going to ask all these questions. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Talk about a seizure warning, Jesus. I got renegade points for that somehow. I wish I had more time to study all of this. I you know, Liara, we don't necessarily need you for the rest of this mission. You can just stay here and we'll pick you up after. Ask all the questions you want. Like, I'm pretty sure Ashley and I can make it back to the ship without you, and we'll just come and pick you up in, like, I don't know, a day, a week, however much longer you want to stay here. Let's 
really quiet. What the hell? I'm gonna quickly check my uh, audio settings here. Yeah, dialogue at 95. We'll put it up to 100 and put music down to 60. There. That's fine. Okay. Coming for you, Saren. Eventually. Oh. Took out all three. Oh. I wonder, does Saren have a Mako or is he just walking this? He's got that hoverboard, I guess that's not nothing. Oh, real quick. Just in case I die on the way down here, I don't want to have to take all that over again. And clearly it was a good call, because of what we can see on the radar. right on it. Again, since I have no reason to get out of the car, I can just mow this thing down with the cannon. I'm willing to bet that the, uh, the extra XP I got for doing all the, uh, on foot kills on those things, it's probably what put me over the top so quickly. Max level ain't nothing to scoff at. I'm pretty sure it gives you a bonus if you're at max level when you get to the next game. Also, if you have money over a certain number, it gives you a bonus when you start the next game. I love games like that where they give you a bonus for having an old save. I barely dodged that one. I would love for there to be just one Prothean sitting around down here, and the first thing he does is give me a side quest. Oh, damn it. I'm hard. I'm hard. I'm. It's hard to, to decide if no music is better than repeating music. Like right now, it's still. Oh wow! Look at that thing. The conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Yeah, I'm not the one who stopped the car. Oh, okay, it's cutscene time. I want, I, I want to show the council looking out the window going, Huh, is that a Reaper? I guess Shepard was right. Although those five words will never be uttered by any authority figure in this entire series. I guess Shepard was right. But yeah, these ships are going down like flies. Activate the defenses, seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the council. Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? Oh, the flashlight heads are already there. Oh, shit. Let's, let's, let's go faster. Now, if I stop, then we don't make it through and it's game over, so... Screw you guys, I'm going home. Yeah, the immortal words of Eric Cartman to send me off. 
hope the Normandy can follow us. Also, the fact that we just shot through a mass relay in the Mako it just sickens me. Avina, come on. Please let it drop on them. Yes. And it crashed! Double yes! Never have to see that fucking thing again. <laughs> fucking warthog replacement. Some meta gel, thank you. Really, guys? Are you sure you want to do this? Good job. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. Honestly, I kind of want her to be, like, actively, ma like, malevolent. Like, if she's under the control of the Reapers, I want her to be, like, directing civilians out the nearest airlock or something, or... Just... Basically, like, like, like the evil AI trope. I, that, that's what I want out of her. Because, I mean, theoretically, if Saren or the Reapers have control of the station, they can make her say whatever they want. Seriously? One shot from that gun. Oh, hey, the arms are closing after all. The Citadel's closing. They're sealing the station. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. I thought the whole point was that we couldn't close the arms. Why is it happening now? Yep. That whole you shall not pass moment really has to work for you to, uh, to not come off looking like a complete loser. If he just goes right through you, all the gravity in the situation is lost. It's like that moment in Spider-Man 2 where all the uh, train passengers are like, you'll have to go through me to get to Spider-Man, and Doc Ock's like, yeah. <laughs> Also, for all their magic, like, for all their, like, imposing dread, the, uh, Reapers really aren't all that big. Like, it's about the size of a dreadnought. It's not terribly imposing. Yeah, no. On their best day, the elevator is never that fast. Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. Okay. I don't want to bring uh, Liara with me on this mission. I want somebody who's not useless. Can I switch out? Is that possible? Like, is there any civilians running around? Maybe I can enlist one of them. If I had, if I had, if I had known or remembered that the crew you take to Elos is the crew you take to the end of the game, I would have chosen better. <laughs> But, fuck it, we're in it now. Oh, also. <laughs> Let's not make that mistake anymore. I think the quick saves in Mass Effect 2 and 3 are usually a lot better, so... This problem should stop happening pretty soon.
I'm just gonna tear through these guys. It's just faster than going up to the hotkeys, personally. Did I miss something? Oh, I did. An entire, an entire corridor. Where, are, where am I supposed to be going here? Am I going up that way? Oh! There's Sovereign. Yeah, I think where the hell supposed to be going. I want to say that way. Unless that's the way I came from. Yeah, it's totally the way I came from. So we're going that way. Get up there. Sorry, this isn't exactly an area of the Citadel I've been to before. They don't really have walking tours of the Zero G exterior. Just walk right through the Mass Effect field, no big deal. Get these defense turrets on, please. Another one we gotta turn on. Let's bypass it. Who gives a shit? Is there another one? Somewhere? I guess not, we're pretty much killing them already. Yeah, that about does it. Look at that recharge ray on my shields. I'm again walking right into missiles. Also, what the hell? Oh. That's how that works. be careful because if I use all my sprint it goes down into the uh, the recharging mode and then I never get it back. Oh, we're going that way now. I think. Probably. Definitely.
Yay. No more helmet. And hey, we're at the council chambers. That was convenient. Do I have to fight my way through the Presidium of the Wards? Get all of our Medigel back. Is that Saren? No, it's not Saren. Hey, Saren, your gaps are falling apart. Hope you kept the warranty. Anybody else? Oh. Nope, you got him. Good job, Ashley. The are hanging in there. Good job. Where's your hoverboard, jackass? Yep, there it is! Of course it's there. I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. Had to wipe out a few hundred of your followers along the way. Sorry if I kept you waiting. You've lost. You know that. In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Fancy hardware is not going to save you. I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. You know they don't need organics, right? Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true you know something? Honestly, I would totally be a cyborg if at all possible. What I, what I want the most is a HUD, but I'll settle for just about anything. Having said that, this isn't really what I have in mind. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too. Okay, so these are the only, like, these, these options only show up if you have, like, Max Paragon or Max Renegade. So this is where all of your work has paid off. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Yeah, th this only happens if you've got max points. So, the boss fight is skipped now, because your Patrick Stewart speech was too strong. Theron goes through the glass no matter what, but you have a boss fight if you can't convince him. Not sure why I need Paragon Points at this point, because I'm already a saint among men, but... Anyway, do I, like, go up to the thing and... Just out of curiosity. Armor upgrade. You know what? We're fine. Fuck it. Stop playing with the menus, Rocky. Oh, I don't like this color scheme. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. 
Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The destiny is sent you. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's an interesting break. It must be sacrificed for the greater good. Do not waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? How in the hell are they swapped on this? You'd figure Ashley would be arguing to save humanity, and Liara would be arguing to save the Council. The purpose of the military is to, is, is to protect the civilians. If they don't do that, there's no point in having them. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. The noble choice. I just hope it does not also turn out to be the wrong God, Liara, come on. Read the room. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the goddess. Not good enough to join your council. Barely good enough to join your specters. But when your ass is on fire, of course we'll be there to put it out. That lovely Michael Bay moment as humans, he, the human military the saves the day. We did it. It's all over. Clearly nothing else could possibly go wrong from this point. Make sure he's dead. We could just shoot him from here. Just empty every gun we have into the spot where he fell down. Don't make the Halloween mistake and just let Michael Myers fall out the window. Just drill him from the second floor. It's fine. There you go. Thank you, Ashley. He's dead. Okay, that's just not fair. We got one more zombie to fight here. Mutating? Oh yeah, he's mutating. Fucking hell, look at that thing. But I can still use my abilities. He's no longer neural. He's no longer organic. Maybe the AI hacking will. No, he's immune to that. All right. Liara, warp him. Ashley, why are you using a pistol on this? How about... Oh, it makes him use the damage. Throw him. 
Oh, you don't have any other abilities available. How about the shotgun? Yeah, she's switching now. Ashley, would you mind switching your gun a little bit faster? And the board do not mess around. Sovereign's too strong. We have to pull back. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Okay. He gets his full shield back because he's a little bitch like that. But we can even the odds. Thank you, Liara. That really helped me out. Don't fall behind the rock. The Reapers are the reason Proceans went extinct, and I'm the reason the Reapers are going extinct. And speaking of the Reapers. If that window breaks, we're all about to be sucking vacuum. Maybe we should put the helmets back on. Go! And they all died instantly. For whatever reason, the technology in Mass Effect Andromeda that lets your helmet pop out immediately just doesn't exist here. Also, if the window did bust open, how are these fires still burning? Oh yeah, no, I guess we're fine. Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? What's up, ladies? Yes, that's that's the line I chose to come out with. The smuggest fucking grin in the galaxy right there. Hot damn. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous And hey, they're not up on their dais anymore. In the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice. 
and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? Yes, me! <laughs> Fucking I'll sit on the Council. Okay, so... If I don't pick, it goes to Adina automatically, I'm pretty sure. Captain Anderson is the reasonable authority figure. He's competent. He's going to make decisions that make sense. Udina is a schemer. He is all about backroom plays and politics because he is a politician. And this is a council of politicians. So as much as it might make sense to put an outsider on the bench who works out who doesn't really necessarily know the system, we've seen in recent real life history how well that works out. So we're going to go ahead and put Udina in, in the hot seat because at least he knows how to handle a room full of sharks being a shark himself. I want a true advocate for humanity on the council. Someone who will protect the interests of our species no matter what. I want Adina. Well, the ambassador has worked with the council in the past, and we are familiar with his style and methods. A little too familiar, you could say. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet, counselor. I've been holding A back. little too back. Soon we will all learn to work together in time. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop. I guess the meeting's over then. That is a decent point though. It took an entire fleet to take out Shepherd's one right. ship. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the council, we Anderson have doesn't have a goddamn word to say. It looks like he's just in shock that he wasn't picked. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. Together, we will drive them back into dark space. Adina, you're, you're not cool. You can't give a speech. Also, this is... This is a really sweet shot, but... God, that armor. Like, I get it's camo green and all, but I really wanted the, uh, the onyx armor. There just wasn't a good set of it. Nothing above grade 4. I'm digging this beat though, this is nice. Alright folks, that was Mass Effect. This was a lot of fun to play, both when I first played it way back when on the 360 and now again on PC. All the DLC I didn't have the first time through was really fun to run through. The uh, uh, Bring Down the Sky and Pinnacle Station. I got to have the benefit of hindsight as they went through and explain a bunch of things. I went through and did all the side missions that I didn't bother with the first time through. We finished the game at max level with a shit ton of money in our, in our pocket, which is going to come in handy if we if, when we go to Mass Effect 2. Because I'm absolutely doing the trilogy. I'm not stopping here. This is going to be my magnum opus epic trilogy but i am somewhat concerned that this music might be copyrighted so we are going to try to stop it here <laughs> all right so we have a completed save file which means when we come around to the sequel i can hopefully load from that assuming the game is smart enough to figure out where that save file is this is origin we're talking about it's already been screened with the game as we speak. Just gonna see what we have available in our save files. So yeah, that's been Mass Effect. I've been Paragon Rocky, and this is my favorite game on the Citadel. 
Okay, that joke doesn't land because the reference hasn't happened yet, but y you'll see. Onward to Mass Effect 2.